In this video, I'll show you how to lock your photo gallery on your iPhone. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's go and jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my photo gallery and let's go and lock it. So the first thing you need to do is come off of your photo gallery, just like so. And what you need to do is go and find the app called Shortcuts, which should automatically be on your phone. Here is mine. You may have gone and deleted it because you didn't use it. Um, so if you have deleted it, then all you need to do is go to the app store and then you can go and search for shortcuts just like so and then we can go and re-download it and go and use the app just as you would wait for it to load here it is so you can go and download it and then you go and install it and then go and press open and when you first go and open it what you need to do is make sure automation is selected from the bottom navigation bar then once you're on the automation page what you need to do is go and press create personal automation just like so and what we're going to go and do is go and create an automation um, which reacts when the photo app is open your phone will lock um, and nobody can go and look in your photos so go and tap on create personal automation just like so and then scroll down until you can go into the option for app just here it's a bit down you will need to scroll and then you need to go and press on app and go and tap on choose now what you need to do is go and find the photos so go and search for photos so here we are here is our photo gallery so let's go and tap on it just like so and then it's got the tick next to it and we can go and press done now, the next thing you need to do is make sure is opened is selected. Um, so when the photo app is opened, there is a reaction, which we of course we want. Then you want to go and tap on next, just like so. And now we need to go and add the action for what happens when the photo app is open. So go and tap on add action. So I've just gone and typed in timer and what you need to do is come to this clock section and go and tap on start timer, just like so. Then we need to go and set this up uh, for one second. So where it says five, we'll go and change that to one and then change minutes to a second by tapping on it just like so. And there we are. Now you want to go and press next, just like that. And what's really important is, is you go and disable ask before running, just like that, press don't ask. Then go and press done, just like so. And we've now gone and set up the automation, but there's still one more thing we need to do. So and close off the shortcuts app, just like so. And then what you need to do is go and open up the clock app, which should be on your home screen um, and go to the timer section. So here's the clock, tap on timer. And then what you need to go and change is, is when timer ends. So tap on when timer ends and then scroll down to the bottom. There's quite a long list. So scroll right down and go and select stop playing, just like so. Then you need to go and press on set, just like so. That's really important. And now let's go and open up our photo gallery and I'll show you what happens. So go and press on photos just like that. And hopefully within a second, just like that, your phone is then automatically locked. And so you'll need to show your face ID, which I just did to unlock my phone again, or enter your passcode. I'll do it again just like now. And as you can see, the phone does lock um, and I need to go and either enter my passcode uh, or go and use my face ID. So I'll use my face ID. And that's literally it guys. You can then go and protect your photos. And once you're finished with it and you want to disable it, go back to the shortcuts app um, and then you can go and turn this off. So go and tap on it and then go and disable the automation by swiping it just like that and there we go that's literally it um, and then you can go and use your photo app just like that if you found this useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace